all day. Number three, they're like, they're all the same type of thing. So I'm, I'm willing to consider it one item uh, because it's come in long after we closed on Friday night like uh, 5.25 p.m. Friday night, 9.20 p.m. Friday night, 7.51 this morning, 9.27 this morning, 12.47 this afternoon. So I was just going to write them all up on one to let you know. Um, good to go with that because they're all, they're all looking for the same thing. And we need calculations how much time it's going to take to recover this from the chief. Yeah, I, I would definitely if, if want any. to do that. Who Do you know who did this? I don't think it was Royce or Paul, but I'm not sure if you remember. Who did this sheet up? Was it Sue? Oh, I don't know. It was before I got in here. Because I'd like to that add... That was in existence. Actually, like, that was signed in when Ronnie Patch, Jason Cole, uh, and Karen were in. I'd like to add like a time sheet on something. there or something. Mm. Oh, we adjusted that. We did change it. The original one was put. User put Sue. I, I'll have her there do you it. Go. Yeah. Do you have any problems with putting like a timesheet attachment to these? Or? No. <coughs> okay, because I'd like to do that. Yeah, we upgraded it to uh, check. Laura might have done it too. I don't remember. It says on the bottom, Does not Sue. Sue. Oh, okay, good. Okay. Yeah, so I'll ask Sue because I'd like to put a timesheet on that. Um, and people were getting information and saying they never got it, so we made sure that they were signing for it. Yeah, I hear you. Um, so I will submit this as one in a couple minutes. And you have another thing in here that I want you guys to talk about um, an incident that happened on Friday. I've spoken to Ben about it briefly, but I put all the, the detail in here for you guys to make a decision. Okay, thank you. I'm only coming back to hand you this folder. I won't be back the rest. Should you get one already? Super enjoyable. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That one's here. That right, goes. That's all okay. set to go to Jeanette. Okay. I know you're doing them, but um, so she can get some candy. More candy? Paul, you already signed up. And there was the other one that was in the folder from Friday. How much candy? Thursday was packed, so I'm not really sure. Well, that's kind of it's what I told you. Uh, yeah, I, I, I said, so not Thursday, then Monday is fine. Whenever you have a minute, just to like to have people. Yeah. 
Okay. You can put me in for Monday. So five after five would be the best because then people have a chance to get out of work. It would be later. So like yeah, that's fine. how long is it gonna take for your insurance? Probably not long. I mean, we're not gonna have any real numbers, MFA is still working on whatever they're working on and so we don't have real numbers. Oh, you're not having him come in or anything. All right. right. So six o'clock? Deborah? Six is good. Thanks. Did you look at these yet? Okay. Is everybody going to listen? Absolutely. Of course. Okay, the first um, abatement I have, which Ben will recuse himself from, is from Ben. Um, My apologies, that top one I signed it. Those are just Okay, so his. His house is being assessed at 158,000, and all of the large Cape style homes in Lebanon are being assessed at 148. So he is asking for um, an abatement in an assessment of ten thousand dollars for 2013, 14, and 15. Washing windows? So, oh, okay. I need a calculator. Oh, so actually, the abatement on this person is more than what he asked for after you did the thing on his mobile. Right? No, the value is more than what? It's $1,000 more. So it should be $1,000 less. Did I in the amount you're saying the abatement requested is in the amount of 72000 Yeah, because he was at. And he's asking abatement requested in 62000 I see. I'm just tired. Then so you're looking for this for three years? Hi. You can come in. I'll be quiet while you talk. All right. I still do slot. Sorry, I'm late. I was at the pavement. Hey, you want to sit down? I look at, no, I look at my walk, phone and I'm like, oh, Jesus, I'm going to get moving. Then I had to wait to get to the line to come back. <laughs> so, no, I'm good. Um, <clears throat> you also, can we talk? Yeah. All right. You, there was like somebody called about a tree in a cemetery on Dual Lane, and I went over and looked at it. Uh, to take it down, you need a crane because it's it's a big tree in the middle of the woods. You know, you can't just drop it because you're going to destroy every other tree that the guy owns, and it, then it's going to kick up and take down the uh, 
Lorelai, so I don't know if you guys want to do it or not. But I got a price from Dick Bentley because he uh, is going to be. He gets thirty four hundred dollars for the day with the crane, but he said if you come up for other work to do, but I don't know if we really have any other work for a crane to do. You know, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know if you guys want to talk about it and see what you want to do, but uh, you got written down the estimate. Yeah, uh, he. I can have him write an estimate. I just went over there with him and then just called me after and said it was thirty five hundred. Thirty four. That's what he gets a day with it, renting a crane for everything. But uh, you know, it's a lot of money, and he doesn't. He didn't seem like they do half a day because the crane wants to come up for the whole day. I could talk to him. He didn't seem like that. He wants to try to line. He said usually people get the crane for the day, so it didn't seem like he wanted to try to line somebody else with a crane and then come here after. Some of the woods, I don't know where it is. It's some of the woods. It's, you, you go down Dual Lane, which is off Center Road, go to the last house, you look to the left in front of the house, and you'll see a huge dead pine tree in the middle. You know, not in the middle. It's probably 50, 60 yards in. Out of hill, can't do it or anything? Or? That's who that is. Oh, it's all the same. Yeah. 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 To, to, to cut it down without a crane, you'd have to make a landing for it. And like he said, it's dangerous because it's dead. So he, he said, I'd want a crane to put a guy up in there to, to just hook the, the rope up to it. So either way, I think he, he wants a crane, so. I have a question. Is this tree on town property? It's in a cemetery. Um, in, a cem in a cemetery? Yeah. Yeah. So. Veteran cemetery? I, I don't know that. I, Talk to the lady. Uh, somebody here talked to the lady and asked me to go look at the tree. Yeah. And I'm assuming it is. It's. He didn't say when when he, the guy called. It, I mean, it's say it as old as that cemetery is. I'm assuming it's. Did you be. see flags? I did not, but I didn't walk. I walked to this edge of the cemetery, and the cemetery mm -hmm. is to my left. You know. Does the cemetery have a name? I don't know if anybody even knew it was there. You got the cemetery list. It's. I didn't see it on the list. It's off Dual Lane. It's a little. It's probably 10 by 10. It's little. It's with a three by three pine tree in the middle. So yeah. I can go up there with these and you can look at it if you want at some point. Look at the tree or whatever. But yeah, we'll have to look into it a little bit more. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, I want to do that. That's what I told you because it's. Um, I didn't know. Is it one that's being maintained or not? That's it's really definitely cool. not being maintained. Yeah, didn't sound as like it. I mean, far as just said, you know, it's as far as out. veterans, I don't. I'm assuming by looking at the cemetery, I mean, that far back probably, but I don't know that either. Okay. So, and we'll look at it probably ask legal question or two. Okay. Yeah, sure. And then I had a somebody call request on uh, Center Road a couple of slow children signs. Uh, you know, cars going by fast, they wanted them up. Usually we do it. I got a PO here for him. It's up to you. And then I got a yeah, well, pretty soft stone. There's one for some gravel. I need gravel. I got to back up those driveways on on up across. That's all I have. And <coughs> what was that other one I sent you? Did I just send you an email? Yeah, uh, I talked to her about a couple of curves in the road or something. No, no. I got. Somebody called or emailed me about. It must have been an email. I think I might have forwarded it to you, but I might not have got it. Yeah, it, yeah, it, was, and it would have been phone. today. It would have been today. So I looked anyway. at my phone and saw the time, and then I jumped on my truck. And yeah, I just sent you a message. I don't even know if you got to say I was running late. So, so that's yeah, all. I was. Take the EOS. Yeah, that's all I. You got a copy of um, this request from Calling Road people? Yes, I did. Can you respond back to her? I had told her that. Yeah, I'll stop it. Can I probably just stop this here? Is that just as good? Fine with me. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yep, I got it. I didn't see anything that I'll go up and talk to her. Yep, absolutely. Do that. That's it. Where are you going? Gordon Road? I went and looked. I don't see anything. Other thing I had was uh, look like Bog Road had some new gravel on the end of it or something. Was that from grading recently or? It could be. When he grades, he said he pushes it right out and then rakes it back so in. So is he working on it right now yeah. on the different rows? Yeah, oh. yeah. Oh. That's what he said he does to me. Great. He said he'll push it out and then rake it back in with his hand to make it so it meets up. So it probably was. Do you know where he is? I mean, what, is he giving you a list? I think he's finished. Okay. I think he finished now. 
So he just finished yesterday, this, or today, no, today, because he sent me a message that he was done, and he's going to email me a voice and I can print it out. Okay. That's where he was. Okay. Can I ask Mr. Trial some questions? They have to be directed to me, but yeah. Okay. Um, one of them has to do with the ditching on Dixon Road. Um, I spoke to the past Mr. Torno when he was in office about cleaning up the ditching that the town put in well, maybe 10, 15 years ago between Mr. Moulton's property and mine, which is all overgrown. And to be quite frank, we don't tired of being the recipient of all the drainage from Dixon Road. Um, so that needs to be cleaned out. And the last bad storm, I called you and told you about that yep. culvert that yep. goes under the road. Yep. Gotta get all that nice water, which I don't mind yep. that it goes down the culvert, but when the culvert gets full, then I get it in my driveway yep. and it runs through my carriage house. Yep. That's an issue. Yep. I don't think that got cleaned out. It that needs to be done. It was cleaned out at, during the storm. Okay, you want to go back and check it? Yeah, it might have walked, but I know it was definitely cleaned out okay. during the storm because I went over it myself. Okay. And my third issue is, again, and this sounds like a broken, redundant question, Chapley Road. When your father was in office, we had a long conversation. He told me it would cost approximately $178,000 to redo yeah. that road. Yeah. So what would the figure be now? I'm working on that figure because I'd like to do it this spring, if it's possible. I, I don't plan on taking that corner out that they planned on taking out. No. Because that was about, that was up around forty. Five thousand dollars. No, that would be fine with all. Cars. I think it's going to be about one hundred and thirty. I'm still doing the figures. I'm looking at the culverts, but I think it's going to be about one hundred and thirty. Okay. Because you did the center road, which really could have been weighted. You did the upper cross road that could have been weighted. You did the Dixie road that could have been weighted. And I personally sat there one day and watched four men work over an hour. One on a bobcat, one with a broom, one with a shovel, and one with his hands on the hips. Yeah. yeah, them guys paving get paid yeah. by the ton. They don't get yeah. paid by the hour. Okay. So that's not. So they were not town employees. No, no, were those, those are paving guys. They didn't do the preparation for paving. No, Jesus. if they were in a bobcat, that's the paving guys. Okay. And th and they are getting paid by the ton. So if they can sit there all day long until they put pavement down. They're not getting okay. paid. Okay. Well then, uh, when they put that quote in for the paving, they're certainly including those four men. And yeah, they are. are. Well, but see, when they bid on it, the town, they bid by the ton. So they only get paid, it doesn't use any more ton, no matter what they're crafting okay. on it. So it's, they're just getting paid what it takes to get that, okay. that payment done. But I hope you would seriously consider Shapley Road. It is, absolutely. Um, I have many people constantly asking me to bring this issue before the board. Absolutely. And I do it every time, and I'm getting rather tired of it. Yep. Absolutely, I agree with you. It's horrible. That road and that second river road, I think, are the two You're right. You're right. worst, uh, worst, are. worst in town. So, the my next plans. Okay, so. thank you. I'm all set. All right. Have a good winter. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. Thank you. Bye, Tom. Have a good night. Um. Okay, so this, I had told you guys last week about a um, supplemental bill that needed to be done for some people on Carl Brogy Highway named Gray, I mean Day. And so Ben went out and assessed the house. It's a modular on a slab. So you said 148, even though it's on a slab? Okay. Um, so I'll do a I'll supplement. Speak the walls there. Yep. Okay, I'll do a supplemental bill for that. Okay. Um, and then there's another abatement here. 1961 mobile with an addition. But she didn't say, oh, 75 was the assessed value. So this is what, oh, you already did it. Okay, so the difference of, she was being assessed 75,000 for a 1961 mobile home with an eight by 50 addition. 
So Ben went back out and looked at it again, reassessed the mobile home at 25,000, and we put the addition at, at 2112. So that gave her a reduction of 28,988 on her assessment. So she'll get an abatement. And he signed that, but I need you two to sign that as well. On this one, the way I understand that, if you really read it through, I don't think that when you read everything here, he didn't necessarily fill us in abatement requested in real estate, but you know, so what do you want to bring it down to? Uh, you know, how much discount do you, are you asking for? Basically, is what how that's written. But the way he filled it in was, this is what I want my assessment to be at. Right. So I'm actually at 63. So we're both right there, even though the abatement actually was going to be 72. He was asking for it to be, you know, 70. Right, and it's seven for his land. So I walked, I sat down with him, a very yeah. nice gentleman. Okay, so this is the, the figure? Yeah. Okay. So that, that's 135 minus 72 is what, he's getting an abatement of 72,000. Right. Okay. His building was at 100 and he's going down to 28. Okay. And on this Larry Rossler, did we not go over this one? I was supposed to look for the file, right? This was the one whose house burnt on West Lebanon Road. And I don't believe I could find anything on it. That's that, that case, oh, you, okay, you know which one I mean? All right, so what he's saying is a fire destroyed 90% of the building in March of 2015. And then in July, the debris, including the remainder, was demolished and removed. So he, no building is on the property, therefore he requested a reduction in his taxes, building value from 40000 to zero. He has no plans to rebuild, and the lot is for sale. But um, I mean... What do you think? When you say that, I mean, April first, the building was still standing there, so we right. assessed it as Right, and you it assessed was. it at forty thousand. So, so if you, you know, if that's a denial, then you guys need to to sign that as a denial, and I'll write a letter. Was this faxed in? All of them? He no, he mailed it to me. Oh. Okay, so that's good. And I still haven't heard any gotten anything from Pearl Beatty, and I left another message. Uh, yes. 10 15. He had said right here next in front of us all that he was going to come right back in and take care of it. It's up to him to do that. Right. So we're just not going to do anything with the thing for now. Apparently. And then the next, well, when you're done with that. Did you look at this, Ben? Yes, he yes. went over and saw the guy. He spoke with him. Yes, it looks like a nice piece of property. It's, got a it's a double wide mobile home that got missed. It's got a solid, right? No. Okay. It's got cement board for. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. I, I looked at it from the room. The one I looked at today there was uh, on a foundation, by the way, full foundation. Yes, walking around and all that. Yeah, we'll have the time. Thank you. Okay, so the last thing I have is Thanksgiving baskets. Are we going to be able to collect for those this year? And um, I talked to Mandy. Um, you know, she doesn't have an issue with us collecting um, the stuff if people bring it in. And she did say that, you know, she's busy, crazy busy. And I know that. So I would be willing to come in on my own time to fill them. Because what we normally do is we collect all the stuff, then the people come and pick up the, the baskets after we get them put together. And um, so I would be willing, once we get everything here, I would be willing to come in on my own time and put them together. I don't know how many we'll have. It could be eight, it could be 10, you know, 
Um, but I had somebody call today asking if we were going to do it, and I told her I wasn't sure, so I, but I would find out and let her know. And it's something we've done for the community for the time I've been here, and I think they probably started doing it before that. And I think it's a really good thing to do because a lot of people count on it. I think it's a good thing for the town to do, you know, or whatever, uh, to help supplement needy and GA or whatever. But uh, the thing that's kind of crazy in the past has been in here in the office was collecting. We all, rescue was collecting. We all know what the story was. And, you know, in fire was collecting. Can we collaborate and get together and figure out if we can do this as a town unit well, I, did, I didn't even know I mean I know rescue did whatever rescue did and I can't I'm not even gonna discuss that because that's just I have no idea what they I were only doing. bring it up because it's crazy to have a bin two bins side by side in one spot oh I mean, that's yeah crazy. but that was one year because they weren't going to let us do it without them having a bin there basically okay. I know fire never had an issue with fire I, I know, know they're collecting right now. Are they? I just okay. be curious where. But they, and I don't know if they always did because we, it was never included. We always had people call here and say, okay, can I get a basket? It was never like we would have to get stuff from another department. It was just us. And that's why I'm saying there's certain people that call every year. It's nice to do the collection, in my opinion. I mean, I'm just me, but it's nice to do the collection. But. I guess I'm at a loss because there's been so many people putting things together and where they're going to and who's who's getting what, you know. So are we, you here, handing out to individual people that are coming in, or is this going to a food no, no, kitchen? No, no, or no, 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 no. What happens is get your food pantry right up the road is what I'm wondering. No, no. We put a basket together for an individual family, okay. So the the citizens of the town will bring in food for us to put right. into the basket. Right. So we might get 10 people call and say, I need a Thanksgiving basket. So before, you know, two days or three days before Thanksgiving, we get the baskets put together and we call the people, they come and pick them up. If somebody can't come at all, we'll, like, Skip used to take it to them, but that was only once in a great while. Normally people will come and get the basket. So we don't collect it and give it to the food pantry or any of that. Um, we collect it and give it to the people that have called us and asked for one. And somebody, we always get, there's a couple of families that always give turkeys. Like one, one will give six turkeys, somebody else will give one or two. Somebody comes in sometimes, he has a um, fresh one, you know, fresh frozen that he'll bring. So, I mean, we usually have plenty of turkeys and plenty of food. Sandy? We had this discussion in August. Yeah. And it's something that the town has always done. It's always been done here. And town employees have always contributed their time. Um, if Susan is pushed for people to help, if it's during the day, if there's a place or early evening, I would be willing to assist her. I'm sure Deborah would too, to get these baskets together. I don't think it's a big issue. You either do it or you don't. Appreciate your input. And the other thing too is some people will come in with gift cards for a market basket or something. <laughs> and we'll just put those in the basket. Um, Seriously? Oh, thank you. Sorry. Question on a different subject. Well, can we can we just we what do you think about the one. basket? Well, if we're going to have some help to do it, you know. But what now? Where is the stuff going to get stored? Because that was an issue back in August. I didn't know it was an issue. It was a question that was brought it was up. A question that was brought up. It gets stored here. How many boxes of food do you actually? Yeah. I got pictures of them from last year. So 8 to 12. Yeah. 8 to 12. So you have 8 to 12 boxes of groceries. Paper boxes. Yeah. Okay. That we fill. Yeah. We fill 8 to 12. Uh, 12. We might get, you know, I don't know how many cases. I mean, we've always found room to put this stuff. It's you not know, here for months and months. It's here for a few weeks. The bottom line is weeks. if there's a will, there's a way. And there has to be a way to do this. And it, should be, and it shouldn't be a big discussion. 
No, it's our community. We should take care of our citizens. Yeah. You have a food but is it the town right? office that should be doing that? Probably not. Why not? Probably not, because it's been done all that time. You know, it's been done forever. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's right. So yeah, is there a better way? Talking. Is there a better way? I'm not going to sit here and argue with you. You know, is there a better way that could be thought out instead of, hey, let's keep trudging forward and banging our head against the wall? Probably so. But I don't you know, know how This year, it's so late in the wall. game, then, you know, whatever, let's, you know, it's going to be the easiest way to do it. Well, what would you, you know, suggest? But you have a food pantry right up the road. You know, to collect for one thing, if, why aren't they helping out in the community? That'd be my number one question. Again, going back, you have three different entities, town entities, or if you want to say there were corporations, nobody even really knows, you know, that are collecting in three different places. Just kind of curious what's going on, you know. Um, again, it comes down to compromising work time versus everybody in here says you don't have time to get your work done. But we have time for all these f extracurricular activities. Well, like that's why I told you I would be more than willing. It still takes time to do that on my own time. I understand that it still takes time. So um, the ultimate end of it, you know, yeah, we're here to help the community, absolutely. But we got to take care of business first. You know, um, that's just the way it goes. Okay. I mean, it's up to you guys anyways, regardless. I mean... I don't mind doing it because it's so late in the season this year. That's my opinion. But I need some answers from the other two sitting here. Like you said, it's late this year, so go with it. Hopefully there will be a change that's for the better by next year. Do it my opinion? Yeah. Do it. Thank you. Okay, are we off that? You may want to hang around for a second. This, Ben, I got a question about the legality of this. This is a copy of this. The copy's fine. Not all the information is on here. You don't have the stuff that was on the front side. Well, I, I sent him the I Maybe sent him the application, copy. and he sent it back. He sent back a copy. Yeah, it's not, it's yeah, not a complete copy. You've only got one side. Well, I don't understand how you, you why sides. you think that. Okay. This is the first page. Okay, this is the first yeah, page. Two separate pieces this of is paper. the first page. This is the second page. The only reason that's on one is because I double sided when I make copies. All the information is there. I, I know, and I'm, I'm agreeing that we should do this to help a person out. It's just the idea. We, how come we didn't just do one of these forms? He did do one of the forms. It's right here, Royce. Then we, then that's, that's the that form. should have been the, the form that we signed, not a copy of something. Well, mm -hmm. I don't know. Especially a copy on two separate pages. That's all. Maybe it was done on one. It would be all right. I don't know. I agree. You could take it together. That's true. Philadelphia lawyer could pick up, pick that up, and do something with it. I'm sure. Is the signature know. copy or the original? I don't know. Well, it's a signature. They're looking for a signed looks copy. Looks to me like it's this. One. I don't know. It all looks like an original to it's me. De denied anyway, so I'm gonna put it back on them. They'll get their copy back. Get a copy back. It's not like we're committing to anything. You know, as far as the payments, it's not denied. Right, but we're saying no. Which is, which is, yes, it's a commitment, but it's still going to get a letter back to them and, you know, still going to be the same process. They'll get a letter stating that it was denied and why, and I assume you send a copy of that back to them. I send with them. With our signature. When we deny something, they get the original copy. He'll get that, and I'll take the copy for us. Did he mail that or fax it? He mailed it. Okay. He mailed it back to me. I look at it as like a fax copy. Uh, I know what Royce is saying. I mean, if you mailed it, I would have mailed the original myself, but I made copies. But if, if somebody lived in <laughs> California. That's where he lives. <laughs> he's, asking, he's asking. You guys saw that subconsciously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, uh, you could fax it in, and their fax signature is still legal as of 9 11, as far as I understand. So. so that may be the way to do that, fax it out. So that way we that way we're covered legally. I mean, not that he's gonna say anything. Yeah, other than no, he <laughs> denied this. No, what I'm saying is, if he had faxed it in, 
that's what you would end up having on two separate pages. So right. There's no different. It's right? no different than being faxed. Being faxed it in. And that could be his original. Why he okay. photocopied his? You've got the copy somewhere out there in cyberspace on it with a fax. Uh, no, but he mailed it. He slow. He snail mailed it. He kept the original and made it get sent us a copy. Right. Do you know why we're denying that when you write a letter? Mm -hmm. That's a big one for us. Today. Yes. Do you want to sign that? I didn't check the yet because I didn't, couldn't go inside, but did do the I did the 14 by 70. That's good. It is on a full foundation. The addition measures out to what that right? 24 by 22. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so it's 10 for the foundation, right? Because it's under the main yeah. the main one. Yeah. Okay. Before it's in leaves, I have a question for him. I ask it. Yeah, were you ever able to contact Bill Martin, the man who originally did yes. sign, and his response? That he would give us a price. Has he heard done that? that? Him. No. Okay, thank you. Yeah, he came in and I asked him, and the day he came, he was actually late coming in, later than he originally said he would be, and then mm -hmm. that day I said, have you looked at that? And he said, no, I was going to do it when I got here, and I'm here, so I'm going to go take a look, and I haven't heard from him again. Okay. May I ask two more questions before we start the budget? Is that it for me, Sandy, or did you have another one? No, that's it, so thank you. Ben, may I yeah. ask you about the generators? Were you ever able? I passed that off to Jeanette, and she she is calling. She saw two other people as well, so she's calling. Okay, your two that you recommended. And, and you understand my concern? Mm -hmm. Thank you. And also, um, the sign, I, I don't know these, I sound like a broken record, but things like, I think things are just getting bogged down, passed along. Um, some things are priority, some are not, absolutely. I know, but if, this is, if it's not going to come out of the budget, then can we get a committee together and collect money to do mm -hmm. the sign? Mm -hmm. So when can we do that? I'm fine with it whenever, okay, you know, right fine. now. So if we ever I don't know what these price. guys, but... Hey, you want to go collect money for the sign? Okay, good. Good, thank, thank you. you. Good. So do it like a flagpole? Yeah, yeah. Okay. exactly. So should so we you just... Do, you know, who's going to be on that committee? Because we need to appoint a committee. And okay. in your committee, you've got to have, make a chair. Good, <laughs> we're good. We'll do the same thing we did before. Yeah. We we'll how many people do you need? Two of us? Whatever good. you bring to bring. Do we have to start a separate account with Jeanette for the sign? I mean, there is a leftover after the flagpole that we said was going to go to the needy fund, and she told us at the end of the month she would be turning that over. It's forty-two dollars and something, but she needs me to sign for it. But that forty-two dollars we already committed to the needy fund, so we don't want to use that. I'm sure she, you know, at all. But write it off someplace. You know, keep track of it someplace else. You'd have to talk to her exactly how okay. and why. My intentions then, as a member of that committee. He, uh, to attempt to contact Mr. Martin to get a price from him. And I also have a price from Tom Drew from Milton for $550, who I know is a reliable source. Okay. And then so the 675 from CC, Signs and Graphics. Right. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Good. Yep. That's the end of my aggravating questions. Okay. I, I have one more. So I'll make a, a quick one. right now then while we're thinking about it. Um, like that. Thank you. We'll make a motion okay. to appoint Deborah Wilson and Sandy Adams to our town office sign committee. <laughs> At least we're not the flagpole girls anymore. <laughs> As 
What would he need that for? So he can mail his own stuff out. What stuff? No bills. Paychecks. He's got letters he's constantly sending out to people to get the gear back. He's got a bunch of stuff. Okay. Why did he tell you to ask me? Because I told him to do it. No. He's always taken mine. <laughs> no, so that's, uh, that's what I was wondering because I knew it had been coming through here. Okay. Yeah, it's letters to mail it out to. Um, gear makes the most gear sense. Gear and letters that he needs to send to people and all of that. He comes in and steals mine, so I told him to get it Actually, I'll, I'll do this <laughs> after. I'll call this because of my. Hey, Okay. Oh, I almost um, made a clean getaway. You almost made a clean getaway. Because Harvey yeah, Wallingford came in and yeah. I was another talking one, yeah. to him about that. There's he a was bunch a little, of sign. There's probably some more yeah. around. Well, he said yeah. they obviously came. They've got all the information. You know, he said, I don't understand why they wouldn't believe that, you know, that they came. And I said, I, you know, I can't disagree. But so I guess I'm going to call the field and son's transportation. Because, I mean, she gave me everything she had. So, because in her email she did say that's all she could find, you know, regarding the removal. <coughs> so I'll call that place where they, the people that took it, I guess, and find out if they've got an invoice or something. So then I'll try It's not see. our responsibility to prove their case, it's theirs. That's the right. Burden proofs on the taxpayer. <coughs> well, I know. But I mean, I mean, they can make that same phone call. Okay. I mean, you got enough to do. Well, I know. I know I do, but I'm just... All right, I'll email <coughs> and ask her if she'll call them. Harvey will probably tell her not to, but... Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Do you want my two questions before or after your 430, <coughs> 430 general government? Because it's qu almost quarter of five now. Yeah, so. you can do it now. Okay. Okay, the first one is a question that came in um, uh, from the fellow <coughs> that runs the No Spin Lebanon Zone. And it says, I have asked this question privately, but perhaps someone knows the answer. I may be overlooking something, but why are we voting on amending a building code ordinance when that ordinance is no longer valid with the state of Maine anyway, require, which requires all municipalities to replace local code with the Maine Uniform Building Codes and Energy Codes, effective 12-1. 2010. Yeah, I got a, I got a pile. I did get that privately. I forwarded it to the code enforcement officer. I'm sure he'll have an answer for him shortly. So no answer yet. Tomorrow is the public hearing anyway, sure, so he can ask yeah. publicly. And the second question is that um, I know you said there was a bunch of other stuff, but um, I come in at 10 minutes four and. The, there was already stuff going on and one of the things that I happened to overhear was a, another purchase order for candy for the recreation part. How much money have we spent on candy? I haven't signed that yet myself. Well, I guess maybe I signed that, I guess. But well, you already had I, signed I one from Oriental yeah. Trading, right? And then yeah, how it's in their budget. You spend quite a bit every year. On candy? Mm -hmm. Is candy more important than signs? <laughs> I mean, you parent, I mean, is it better to fill these kids full of crap 
the appearance of our that's, town. That's, uh, that's what I'm asking. Is a what? department that has been voted in and sustained by this town and, and repeatedly year after year. Because and it's a budget have, that is, is there and the townspeople have voted on it. Okay, but you, do you have the Just, right to deny that government spending that money? On oh, candy? Or do you have to approve it? No, no, we don't have to. It's a discussion that comes in with that department head. I mean, I'm just I'm curious because she's having trunk or treat. And believe me, with her soccer thing, I think she's doing a great job. But she's having trunk or treat, and everybody's supposed to come and bring candy to give out to the kids, all the people in town, right? And I, I just want a dollar amount on how much money is being spent on candy because when we vote the recreation department budget, nobody says to us $800 or $400 or $200 is on candy. So uh, I'm just curious as to how much we're spending on candy for Halloween. I have to look it up. I don't know. Do you know, Jeanette? Off the yeah. top of my head now, I'm sorry. If they want me to look it up, I'd be happy to. Okay. 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 Um, Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Could we find out then? When you, sign, when yep. you guys signed off on that, did you notice that and that that was a Thursday? Mandy's gone. Mandy's gone. She's at training. I did not. I didn't think you guys did. We're trying to put the calendar with those requests when people ask. So if you could re-review that, yep. I don't think you. I didn't think you noticed it. No. Because I don't know if you really want to do that. Will you find that out for me, Jeanette? What? Will you find that out for me, Candy? Uh, have them ask me. Could you please? Thanks. Yeah, I'd like to see it as a right to know. I mean, I'm going to take it as that. It's a verbal, so <laughs> just do it as a that. Verbal process right it through. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Is it? No, I was wondering if we're spending a few hundred dollars on candy, and yet you we don't get it. much for two hundred dollars. Are you crazy? You get a lot candy. of candy for two hundred dollars. I look in the grocery store. Go to the dollar store, brother. A dollar for a big and bag of it. And I mean, when we're denying our fire department after going to fight a fire, thirty-five dollars for a pizza, and we're spending three or four hundred dollars to hand kids candy, that's a problem with me. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> This one here uh, is a request for a lawnmower. Yeah. But there's a brand new one, or was a brand new one when I came in over at the rescue station over at Blaisdell at the time. It had been left outside in the snow, so I'm not sure just how bad it was, but it was brand new that August. I don't know if he even knows if it's there or not. So. It's at the fire station. I can answer that. It's at the fire station now. But it's not in good shape. Natasha's been bringing her own personal one over and and doing it. Okay. They need one. Yeah, I'm good with that. But if we'll, why, why buy another one if we had one? I didn't know well, where it was. So yeah. I agree with what you're saying, but I'm not the one. Though. Yeah. Our job to double check. <laughs> 